Hi, this is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme three, element five, volcanic impacts. Revision guides out. I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. Volcanic impacts are a consequence of volcanic eruptions. These impacts or effects are split into primary impacts, which happen at the point of the hazard and secondary impacts, which happen after the hazard. These effects can also be split into social, economic, and envir environmental. Let's start with looking at the primary effects or primary impacts. So these are the things that happen at the point of the hazard as a direct result of that hazard from happening. In our case, a direct result as that eruption er um, occurs. We've got a grid that's been color coded by social in the yellow, economic in the blue, and environmental in the green. So you'll notice that for volcanoes, some of the social impacts are going to be things like ash clouds, deaths, injuries, and immediate evacuation, or immediate having to remove themselves from the hazard. So for the ash clouds, for social issues, it's going to be breathing as a major concern. Ash can get into the lungs and it can make it difficult to breathe. Deaths from ash, pyroclastic flows, that giant column of superheated gas and ash and lava bombs can all cause uh, death and injury and due to those risks people are going to have to evacuate very quickly although this could also be seen as a response in terms of economic well ash clouds can disrupt travel as well so not only is it going to cause effects for the social element the people it's going to disrupt people's ability to travel internationally, or if you've got somewhere like the USA, we might have international air, domestic air travel that occurs quite a lot. It could also disrupt ground-based transport as well. Cars, it might be quite hard to drive, with, uh, depending on how much ash is actually falling. Ash again will also have a impact on the environment. Ash can destroy crops as it falls down to the ground and covers and smothers any crops that are growing at the time. Uh, if it's a very, very violent eruption, where one that doesn't happen very often, not the one the sort of thing that we've seen, but they can also block out the sun. But this is very, very rare. And ash can also get into the water source. So if it gets into a river, it can pollute the environment. It can make the water hazardous to drink and pollute the entire water course. So these things happen immediately as the volcano erupts. But there are knock-on effects that happen afterwards, after the initial eruption, or because of one of the primary effects. One of the major ones would be sanitary issues. If we've got people living in temporary shelters, then there's going to be a lack of sanitation, toilets, clean water, which can then lead to a knock-on of diseases. It can even split families up as during the evacuation, some people might end up being ferried to one evacuation camp and other families to another. And therefore, it's going to split up that family for who knows how long until an area is made safe again. In terms of economic, there are food and travel costs to consider. If crops have been destroyed, which is the primary impact, then it means it's going to be more expensive to get food for people because they're going to have to get them from further away or there's less crops available so the ones that are available now become more expensive. And those businesses that have relied on growing crops like the farmers or perhaps getting uh, resources in like shops and trading are not going to be able to do that because of the lack of travel. So that's going to end up as a loss of profit for local businesses. And as that ash has fallen, ash itself is actually quite good for the ground, but it takes years for that to filter into the ground. So in the short term period, farmland becomes unusable. And so that has an environmental impact for years to come. Well, that's it for today. But continue your revision by completing the now try test for homework. Class dismissed.